Only in love and war. Happy New Year, darling. It is 2018. Yes, it is. Um, I'm still in the mindset of 2017, so it's definitely going to take me a while. I don't know why this light's so bright on my lips. I don't have nothing on it. They're not ashy. Hmm. Who knows? But anyway, um, so yes, um, 2018. Yes, we're here. Y'all tell me what y'all did for New Year's and all that. Okay. So Tamar and Vince. <sighs> it's just a hot mess with Tamar and Vince, to be completely honest with y'all. I really don't even know how else to describe it except for it just being a complete hot mess it is um father god this review is going to be of episodes five through seven um yes because i did three and four last time so this is going to be five through seven it's just been a whole lot of mess so i'm going to kind of be all over the place i'm not going to go in order because that would take too long um so I'm just going to, I wrote down a few things that kind of stuck out to me and I'm just going to talk about it. And y'all just stay with me and stick with me and, and yes, like y'all been doing. Yes. Okay. So, let's see. Um, I believe this is on episode five, six or seven, one of them. But Tamar and Vance, um, I'm sorry, Vance. He um, was having a conversation with um, some guy, um, an entertainer. They they didn't reveal who he was, but um, he was talking to him, you know, about developing him and you know um, making his dreams come true and him being a manager, whatever. Um, Remy uh, Vincent already manages as of right now. He manages Escape and he manages um, Remy Ma, which is. Very interesting to me that he manages escape. Um, seeing as how just recently, y'all have to watch my Chilaki News video before this one. But just um, recently, um, Tamar had invited uh, the one and only uh, T.S. Madison, Maddie, and um, Kaya Shimon um, to the escape concert. And because they have the show called The Queen Court, Queen's Court, and they have said some things about Toya Wright. Toya is associated with everybody on the tour um, in some kind of way. Tamar, Escape, and Monica. Monica and Escape are friends with Toya. Um, Toya and Tamar had kind of fell out. Um, and, you know, obviously Tamar and, and, and Vince is going through all this, but they work together to get Maddie and T.S. Madison there. Um, so, I don't know. It's just like you're still up with the mess with that Tamar was trying to do because she was trying to be shady but you manage you manage a group that's very close friends with the girl Toya so it's just it's just a whole lot going on but anyway I, I just thought of that that's why I brought it up make sure you guys um watch my Chilaki News video uh, Chilaki News 27 yes okay so um it's just been a whole lot of mess but Tam but Vincent he's really feeling himself these days he was just like, you know what, um, I'm a superstar of my own self. I make superstars. Apparently, Vince, Vincent, you know, he's dropping names now. Um, he says that he worked with Michael Jackson. I don't know when and how. Um, he Apparently, he worked with Whitney Houston. I don't know when and how. Um, and he also worked with TLC. I don't know when and how. But Vince has been in the industry for a while, but I don't know... When he said he worked with them, I don't know in what capacity. Like, I don't know. If y'all have some a backstory on Vincent Herbert, y'all let me know. I might Google it. No, I, I'm probably not. So, um, if, if y'all don't mind, if somebody could let me know about um, Vincent and, and his backstory. Because um, Vincent's not that old. Um, I think Tamar's older than Vince, I think. So, I'm like, I don't know when he, you know, how early he started in his career that would make him have the opportunity to work with people like Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston. So, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, if he did, great. That's cool. And, you know, he keeps name-dropping Lady Gaga. He discovered her and made her into the artist that she is. And he's very proud of that. And which he should be very proud of that. But it's just very interesting how his attitude kind of done switched up. Um, he's always had an attitude. I've always saw it in him. He's always been, you know, controlling and snappy and all that. But now since he done lost his weight, he's starting to feel himself more. He's starting to have a lot more um, 
confidence, you know, naturally, as he would, as anybody would. Um, but his confidence is starting, it, it comes off as nasty, like even more nasty than before. But, you know, whatever, Vince, you know, you he is very talented and, you know, God did give him a talent for sure. Um, but he walking around calling himself a superstar, so, I guess. <coughs> so, um, anyway... Uh, what else did he say? He said that um he don't agree with Tamar getting a new manager. So we all know Tamar is trying to get a new manager. And he says he doesn't agree with Tamar getting a new manager. And he also don't agree with her um saying that this is going to be the Bluebird of Happiness album. It's going to be her last album. He don't agree with that. But he didn't say none of that to Tamar. He said that all to the camera. So to Tamar's face... You just sitting there quiet and just like, oh, well, like you don't care nothing about it. But you actually do. And she said that. But, you know, Vince like to put on fronts. And that's obviously what he's been doing for the longest. Because on episode four, I believe, when um, Vince and Tamar had got into it. And um, he didn't let her know that there was a radio. There was a um, local news station upstairs. Um, to interview her, it was for her DC show um, in her in her hometown. Um, so Vince didn't let her know that uh, she's been working all day the whole entire time. She didn't have time to practice, do her own makeup, hair, nothing. Um, so last minute, a local news station came up there. She had to do an interview when she was trying to rest her voice and prepare for the show. The doors was getting ready to open in thirty minutes. Vince was outside. Taking selfies with fans. And um, she hollered up there. Tamar was just like, well, what you want me to do? You're my manager. You didn't let me know about any of this. And um, once Vince got upstairs, he realized that the cameras was rolling. He was like, no, you're not going to expose me. You're not going to expose me. But you ain't got no problem exposing her. And having her looking all crazy and showing out on TV. But you don't want to look that way. Because your image is more important than hers. Mess. Mess. But anyway, um, that just made me think about, you know, that whole situation. I'm like, Lord, it, it, it's truly, truly a mess. Um, so, yeah, he didn't say none of that to her. Let's see. Um, you know, EJ and James is around. Um, EJ is Tamar's stylist and, um, James is Tamar's hairstylist. Um... And, you know, so the, they're kind of like her comfort zone. They're her friends that, you know, are there for her and make her laugh and kind of take her mind off of all the craziness that's going on between her and Vince. Um, and so she's had, you know, several conversations with them, you know, throughout the episodes. And they talked about things. And one thing I've noticed is that James, he's very much so on Tamar's side about anything. But EJ is more um, open to seeing all sides of the situation. Where James is just very, okay, I'm with you, Tamar, whatever you want to do. You know, just very agree with her. And, and EJ kind of, you know, he's he sees, you know, mo he sees everybody's sides in the situation. Meaning that he sees Vince's side in the situation as well. But don't nobody um, agree with Tamar saying that this is going to be her last album. That's crazy to me. Like, if somebody asked me or was cool with the fact that I was giving up on my dream and I'm married to him and he's a part of my dream of, of helping making my dreams come true in terms of, you know, being a manager and having connections and, um, you know, getting me associated with these people and, you know, just, just helping with all areas of that. And he's okay with me. Like, no, nah, but obviously he's not, you know, but he's not going to say that to her. Um, so, you know, like I said, they've had many conversations about, um, um, that whole thing. Um, so what else is going on? Uh, Tamar had the opportunity to talk to Tiny in an episode. Um, her and Tiny had kind of fell out for a while. Um, I believe it was, um, mainly or loosely due to the whole Toya Wright thing and that whole situation. Because Tiny's really good friends with Toya as well. But, you know, they hugged it out, and obviously, Tiny and T.I., they are in a marriage, and, you know, all the stuff that that woman have been through with him, child. 
That that controlling spirit is something. Some of these men with money and fame, they're something else. They just want you to. They just want to keep you in the house and raise their kids. And as long as they're paying the bills, you should just sit back and be happy. No matter who they mess with out on the road, no matter what else they do, they do. That's none of your business because they're taking care of you. I, I craziness, complete craziness and control. Um, but anyway, um, Tiny kind of gave her some good advice. She was just like, you know what, um. Tamar, you just need to um, possibly, like, do you want a new manager? Do you want a new husband? And, you know, she was like, look, what helped, what really helped me out in this situation was getting my own place um, separate, away from him. Because, you know, that once you have your own, your, there's nothing like, there's nothing like peace of mind. And if you have peace of mind, you know, you can really just be able to really concentrate and, and get through almost anything, if not anything. Um, but sitting there arguing arguing with a person is stressed out and worrying constantly about stuff. It's not good. So she said what really helped her was to for her to get her own place. Even though he still he still comes by. And you know to this day T I and Tiny are still together. In which I believe that Tamar and Vince are still together to this day. Like I don't know what it's gonna take. When you've been together Vince and Tamar has been together like 14 years um, I know Tiny and T.I. has been together since the early 2000's um, so it's it's definitely been um, a long long time each couple has been together but you know their situation is pretty much very similar but she said that um, she's working on getting her own apartment um, and or house or whatever and Tiny was just like, well, um, I just think that's the best thing that you need to do then is just separate yourself from the equation. Um, so what else? One thing, just to throw that in there, that was pretty much the conversation that Tiny and, and, and Tamar had. You know, they missed each other. They're really good friends. And um, hopefully they can stay friends. But Tamar bringing... Um, Kaya and, and T.S. Madison, the Queen's Court, on the Escape Tour. I'm sorry, Tamar bring it. Did I say Tamar? I think so. Tamar bring in Kaya and T.S. on the um, Great Escape Tour, knowing that they have, you know, mentioned, said a lot of things about Candy and Tiny in particular of Escape, um, and knowing that they don't really, you know, feature them like that. Um... I think the Escape Girls is going to have a conversation with Tamar. That's all I have to say. I love the Queen's Court, though. I think they're hilarious. Um, so, who knows? But, yeah, hopefully Tiny and Tamar can stay friends. I pray. I pray every day. Not just for them helpers, but just, you know, in general, for the world. Um, so, what else is going on? So, um, Escape, they had their last show in... Um, not the last show. They had a show on New Year's, New Year's Eve, bringing the New Year's in and everything um, in Atlanta, their hometown. Um, and so uh, Tiny was in Atlanta. You know, it's where she's, you know, born and raised, all of them. Um, and Tamar was there because she's on the tour. So that, you know, when they uh, met up and talked on that whole thing a little early in the episode, um, Tamar was saying that um, it was EJ's birthday and so she wasn't going to be in LA so she was going to be in Atlanta so I guess before she went to Atlanta she met up with EJ for his birthday now Tamar decided to take EJ to spin class you know where you um, you know working out on little bicycles and you know just, just going crazy on it it's definitely fun you know to get a good workout in and it is. And the instructor, I've seen him many times on um, the internet. He's really cool. Um, but I just thought that was just a cheap gift to take somebody to go work out. How was that fun? I mean, you know, some people enjoy working out. I do enjoy working out. Um, I feel like it is a stress reliever at times. And it is beneficial, obviously, for many reasons. But... If it's my birthday, the last thing I want to do is go work out. But everybody's different. Um, but I just don't think that... I just thought that was a terrible gift. Um, I, normally, I wouldn't bring something up like that. Because it's kind of small. 
um, compared to you know the bigger issues going on with these episodes with Tamar and Vince. But I was just like, that is just such a cheap ass gift to give somebody for their birthday. Like I would rather just take the money that comes out of your card for the damn spin class or something. I'm just like, what the? Uh um. -uh. So yes, child. Um, but speaking of um the whole. Well, this actually happened on Christmas. Um, Tamar's talking to James. And Tamar had mentioned that, um, you know, they had sent Vince off to um, Mama Evelyn. And they had stayed behind. And they had got into a very heated argument. Vince showed out and did something. But Vince ended up getting arrested. I don't know what he did. Um, and he tried to say that Tamar was drinking. And, you know, it was a lot of stuff that was going down. So I was like, Lord, have mercy. Um, and you know he he accused Tamar of, of cheating and all that and um, I've seen a picture online of her with a guy but I don't who's to say if she's cheating or not and she was just like I don't have time to cheat you always with me which is true Vince is Vince and Tamar is, is Velcro they said it themselves um, still to this day I believe so um, I don't know when Tamar would have time to cheat um, I do know that Vince is very secretive and like to keep Tamar out of a lot of his business. So, ain't no telling what he doing. I mean, I'm just saying. You always know what she's doing. You know, but you, you know, what you doing? You you going off in rooms when the phone call and you don't let her know when certain stuff is going down and, you know. Who knows, child. And when y'all have a heated argument, that's the, perfect, that's the perfect opportunity to exit stage left and go on and be with whoever. Not saying that he is. I'm just saying, you know. So you never know what people doing. You really never know. Uh, so you know, Tamar just saying she needs to change. Y'all said yada. Uh, she talks to uh, James and EJ about the whole apartment thing that she hasn't told Vince. Um, Vince had got into a car accident where he ran into a tree um, in. I think it was September second, actually. Um, 2017, which is my mother's birthday, September 2nd. Um, so that's what that he, you know, got hurt real bad. He was bruised up a little bit. He was okay. He came back from the hospital. His feet were swollen, and arms and, you know, hand was real bad, messed up everything. You know, Tamar instantly rushed because she was in Atlanta. She rushed to, to his side and, you know, they ended up getting to more arguments and, you know, she just wasn't sure. About the whole apartment thing, but the fact that they kept arguing was definitely um, that trigger in her head. It was just like, you know what, I need to get my own place. She slept one night at the place, and then um, she called Vince the next morning because she didn't come home, obviously, because she slept in an apartment. Um, and Vince had already known that she had the apartment. So obviously, Vince, she said that Vince had her followed by somebody to see what she doing. Um, because all she told was EJ and James. And she don't think they told Vince. Um, which I don't think they told Vince either. And so I'm just like, dang. Like, Vince is real. That control is something else. It really... When you think you own somebody. Because he basically said, you know, Tamar ain't going to be shit without me. That's what he basically said out of his own mouth. So it's just like, you know. It's just, wow. It's deep. It's very dangerous. Really is. Um... And then um, Tamar ended up filing for divorce, and she called Vince and she texted Vince, and he didn't answer um, either one. Um, so Vince ended up finding out about the divorce when everybody else did on the internet, which is usually the case. It's interesting how that happens um, a lot of times with um, celebrity couples. When one files for divorce, most of the time the other the other person end up finding out through the internet when everybody else find out which is really messed up um, but that wasn't Tamar's in intentions but it ended up happening that way so there's just a lot going on with um, Tamar events in that camp I, one, I swear one minute they together the next minute they not who knows what's really going on in the Braxton Herbert household um I would like to see it work out with them um, but it's just so much going on between them and so much so much that has happened I just don't know if it's smart for them to stay together in, in this instance um, 
But you know, she said herself at the concert when I was there at the Great Escape Tour, she said they're really going through a divorce and she wouldn't do this just for publicity and all this kind of stuff. So we're going to see. We're going to see after all this. And then Vince has allegedly got some other woman pregnant, Laura Govan's friend um, from Basketball Wives. And apparently Vince allegedly slept with Laura Govan once upon a time ago. And so who knows if all this is true or not. But child, let's see. My boy D missed um, Isaiah Parker. He says that um, Tamar has deleted her Instagram accounts. I don't know. Maybe Vince are finally taking Tamar out. <laughs> Father God, knock on wood. I hope not. But I don't know what's going on with them. Um, Tamar just needs to stay off the internet as much, except for when it comes time to promote stuff and just keep her feelings off the internet. And um, I don't know. Just try to find peace. That's all. Just. Get with your get with your family and spend some time with your siblings and your nieces and nephews and you know spend the night over their house a few nights and just get away from Vince for a while and Tamar needs to get and Vince needs to get away from Tamar for a while because obviously it's toxic their whole situation clearly it's, it's stressful sitting there arguing with the same person every day all day and then it's not like you can just walk off and leave. And not have to deal with them for a few hours or a few days. They work together in every single aspect of life. So it's never a break. You never get tired. You're, they're always around. Well, y'all just had an argument. Y'all have to sit right beside each other in the car. And you want to punch them. That's a mess. I, I would just go ahead and do it on TV. But um, yeah. It's just a mess with Tamar and Vince Child. But anyway with that said. Um, I'm Mr. Chalaki. It is 2018 darling. I'm Mr. Chalak on Google Plus. Follow me at Iskins on Instagram and Twitter. At Iskins or 89 on Snapchat. Chase King was here on Facebook and all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys so much. Stick with me. I got you. And yeah, stay tuned for more reviews. Bye bye.